Hey everyone, it's Kelsey. Um, I know I've really fallen under the radar lately, but I am back and I'm going to show y'all the products that I have been using a lot lately. So I've got a little bit of makeup, a little bit of nails, uh, skincare, all that stuff. So anyway, um, got my handy dandy little makeup bag here to show y'all this is what I really use every day. Um, so yeah, uh, time to get started I guess. Um, okay, so of course I always wash my skin every day. I make sure that I cleanse my face because I will admit I am not a nightly makeup remover. Um, I usually leave my makeup on all night. No, it's really bad. Don't do that. <laughs> um, make sure it's a habit for you to wash your skin off because, you know, it just really opens up your pores and everything. And I know I'm being such a hypocrite talking about this, but, you know, I really, I forget to do it at night. It's not a habit. So, kind of, I guess I need to start putting a little post it note or something up so I will know to do that every night. But anyway, in the morning when I'm taking a shower, I use this. It is the Biore Blemish Fighting Ice Cleanser, and it is awesome. It's got this little red seal on here for the Allure Editor's Choice Award in 2009. And um, I really like this because I really feel like it cleans my face really good. Um, I have to feel that tingle and it cools your face but it's not like burning like oh my god you know it's just a really nice cool like mmm it's getting clean thing so yeah I really love 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 this stuff and I'm gonna reach in my drawer to get my clean and clear finishes mattifying moisturizer I really love this I've reviewed this before I really love this because it keeps my oil at bay. I have extremely oily skin. I have enlarged pores, really oily skin, and so yeah, it's really hard for me to keep the oil at bay, especially during the summer, which was why I'm so glad that winter is coming. So anyway, yeah, I use this for a moisturizer after I get out of the shower, and I really like to apply that while I'm when right when I get out of the shower you know I'll towel dry my face off and I put it on when I still feel my face is kind of hot and my pores are enlarged so I would rather a moisturizer like that going into my pores instead of straight up foundation so anyway yeah that's my little rant if that made any sense at all so anyway on to makeup um, always use my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is my holy grail. This is my baby. Holy grail foundation. Especially if you have oily skin. If you want a little less coverage. And I use this during the summer. Sorry for the really loud noise I was getting out of my drawer. Use the Double Wear Light. Um, and I still find that this is a really good medium coverage foundation. If you look online, it'll say that this is um, light to medium and this, no, I don't know. But in my opinion, this is full coverage, this is medium coverage. And I really love both of these. They both um, keep my face from getting oily like other foundations used to. Um, they're a little on the expensive side, but I figure if it's going directly on my face, like covering this whole square footage here, I do not mind spending more, especially when it's a foundation that does exactly what I want it to. I'm really curious to try Makeup Forever's Matte Velvet Foundation, but I love this stuff so much. I'm, I don't know, I'm a little... Mm, I don't know if I'll try it or not. I figure, you know, if you find something that you really love, stick with it. So anyway, yeah. Then I use my Palladio Rice Powder. I'm almost out of it. 
I think I've had this since February and it is October now and I'm just now getting low. Um, I still have probably about a month's worth of powder in here but I think I'm going to go and try the double wear, the Estee Lauder double wear uh, powder just because I love the foundation so much and I'm almost out of powder. I want to see how that powder does compared to the Palladio. Now, it's kind of unfair to, you know, make a comparison between the two because this is like four or five dollars and the Estee Lauder one is probably about 34 or 35. But anyway, so I'm going to try that and I will definitely review that for y'all and everything. So, yeah. Um, then I use my Urban Decay Baked Bronzer in Baked. Don't even know if they make this color anymore because I've had this for three years. I have literally had this for three years and I use it pretty dang often. And right here you can see where I've hit pan, but all around here, still got a ton of product. The only thing I don't like about this is I cannot use this as a, um, as like a sculpting type of bronzer because it is shimmery um, but other than that I really love it I use it more as a blush I use it like right here don't use it on the apples of my cheeks but it gives really nice coverage and it's really really buildable I really love this a lot so for face brushes to apply my setting powder I use this Eco Tools um, bronzer brush and I really love their line of brushes because this right here is made from a recycled aluminum I cannot speak today but anyway sorry recycled aluminum then this handle is made out of bamboo and then these are uh, cruelty free bristles super super soft if you've ever gone to a store and been curious about these brushes just pop up in the package and feel them and you'll be like oh my god I have to have this so yeah um, they're a little on the pricey side but they are so so worth it I've had this one this is my newest one but I have had the blush brush for literally two years it's been through many washes and as you can tell they're made very well I have never had the bristles come out I mean never and that is insane. I've never had my bristles fall out. They are still as soft as the day I bought them. I really, really highly recommend those brushes. Now for other stuff. Since I travel a lot and I usually don't have time to put my makeup on at home because I'm really lazy and I don't get up in time, I have to have something that is portable to uh, travel with my eyeshadows. I use my uni palette. I still use this. It is an amazing little palette and I feel like everything is just really secure. Yeah, I have huge problems with my um, my eyeshadows coming out, especially this one, this one, and really this one. These, Those are my Urban Decay ones. This one, this one, this one and this one are my Urban Decay ones that I just depotted and the rest are MAC. Um, but once this gets jumbled around, it does have a little bit of fallout. But other than that, this is an amazing palette. It's got the little rubber gasket in it. See what I tell you? <laughs> Barely touch it and they just come flying out. That is my only complaint with this palette is the magnet is not that strong. So... Yeah, but other than that, this is an amazing palette. It's got the rubber around it, so even if you do have an eyeshadow that breaks, it is not going to come out of here because it is completely sealed and you've got the little clasp, so it's really sealed up very, very well. Then, oh, I forgot eye primer. Um, I have this eye primer and I almost ran out of my lifted eye primer from Tarte and I've always heard good things about the shadow insurance you know everybody 
um, compares the Urban Decay Primer Potion and the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So I was really on the fence about which one I wanted to try. I had originally planned to try the Urban Decay Eden uh, Primer Potion, but then Ulta had the 21 Days of Beauty sale. And they had this bad boy on for $9. So I was like, heck yeah, I am jumping on that. So I got this for $9. And so far, I love this stuff. I use it every day. It really does make my eyeshadow stay so much longer. I really love this stuff. And then, hmm, let's see what else. For liner... I think I've already talked about the Maybelline Master Drama, and before I bought this, before they started making this, I was all about some Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner Pencil. This has completely changed my mind. I will never buy the Urban Decay one again because this one is just as good. It is so pigmented. It is crazy. That is just one light little swipe of it. And it really does stay a long time. And the, um, sorry, I'm getting a makeup remover pad. The premise behind it is that it is like a gel liner in a pencil. And it really does live up to its name. And it lasts for so long, I have a hard time getting it off with my wonderful Avon eye makeup remover lotion. So... Yeah, if that tells you anything, it lasts a really, really long time. I am so pleased with that product. And the fact that it came from a drugstore, even more exciting. I just felt so exhilarated when I figured out how much I love that stuff. So yeah, got that. And then for a liquid, I haven't really tried a liquid before. But like I said, um, Ulta had this 21 Days of Beauty sale. And they had this Lorac Front of the Line Pro Eyeliner for $11.50, which was um, crazy cheaper than it is originally. I can't remember how much it is originally, but this is one little swipe of it, too. And you can tell it is really, really pigmented. I was really... Um, I don't know. I was really scared to try it because the last time I tried a felt tip eyeliner was the Revlon Color Stay one, I believe. It was a felt tip. I was so disappointed. It was not pigmented or anything, but I saw this one and I said to myself, you know, I'll try it. It's $11.50. You can't even hardly buy one of these EcoTools brushes for that cheap. So I figured, you know, I'll go ahead and try it and see if I like it. And I do. I love this stuff. I don't know if I would purchase it again because it is really, really expensive. But it has kind of rejuvenated my faith in um, felt tip eyeliner. Another eye product I've been using are the Salon Perfect Individual Lashes, and they are really pretty. I'll just put one on each side on the end, and it really gives the effect of doll lashes. And for the adhesive, I use this Revlon Precision Lash Adhesive. Then for mascaras, I'm using two different ones the L'Oreal Voluminous Million and the Avon Super Shop Max. They both have the rubber um, brush and this is the Avon one and the L'Oreal one. You can tell that the Avon one is freaking huge but the bristles are so fine and they're spaced just not very far apart so they really do separate but I still love my voluminous but I will probably be going back to my original voluminous because I do like the natural bristles a little better than the rubber ones um, for lipstick I have been using my Revlon 
a super lustrous lipstick in 130 rose velvet. It's a very pretty shade. Um, just a really pretty natural rosy shade. And then I've been using the Bonnie Bell Lip Lights in Mocha Mousse. And my Sigma brushes to put them, put all that on. And oh, nail polishes. Um, if you're wondering what's on my nails, it is a combination of three different products. I'm a really bad nail biter, so I have been using the Sally Hansen Advanced Hard as Nails Nylon and Retinol Strengthener. Use this as a base coat. I just put one coat on there. It says to use two or three, but I just use one and I use it as a base coat. Then I've been using China Glaze Black Diamond, and it is a really pretty gunmetal gray. And I love this. And then over that, for a top coat, I've been using the Sally Hansen Diamond Strength No Chip Nail Color in Flawless. So that's for nails. And then for fragrance, I've been using this little sample thing that I got from the Ulta Sale of the Estee Lauder Sensuous Nude. I really like it. I am almost out of this stuff. So I really like it a lot. I think I may end up going and getting the actual perfume itself. I love it so much. It's so different from what I would normally choose for a fragrance. Um, anyway, I, uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for y'all. I hope y'all have a great day and I will see you again soon. Bye.